Yeah, hero. This is your boy Thumb Thrasher G5. About to start my next sex section session on Hellblade. I've defeated two of the gods, and now I think I'm on my way to the end of the game. I'm not sure. I'm about to find out. Five is the last one. Of the Gosh, this game. Do I have to fight these guys? I think somebody will. Go. Oh, right. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Whenever you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd is challenged by the giantess. Yeah. I'm not gonna give me that, really. What did I say, really? There.
Capella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. It's the shadow. Your perception. Rotten. He hates you. Oh god. <laughs> Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. It's a trick. 
Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. Was her world like this one, barren and lonely?
The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I, I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Their gods can see into your mind. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. They will never let him go. 
I'm gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here! Leave me alone! You will die here! No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Sorry, y'all. I'm taking ads for me. Uh, the game is beautiful. Good job, Nick Theory. Look. 
king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. I can feel the dead in the air. Why would you do this? Turn back. It's not safe. Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? He sounds like he's Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mines, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Flames I passed through were real enough. Down the heaven to hell. Find another way. It's not working. With your mind, where can you go? You're failing. Find another think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Use your mind. Where's he going? Look. Fingers once again. Find another way. It's not him. We told you. We told you. 
you it was a trick. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send my hand. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! You did it. There's more. All right, I'm gonna cut this on short here. There's another shard. It's I not think it's going to be easy. Three more shards. It's too much. She hasn't got the energy. There's three. This is the next one. Yep. I'm going to stop here and make this next shard the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch y'all next time. Girl, girl. <laughs>